What I think it is? It is! <gasps> oh, way, hey! The coolest computer game console ever! It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hey factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today <laughs> and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. I input the game code and Rock Guitar Legend becomes Air Violin Legend. <laughs> Game over. I win. Ha! Next. OK. What's the game this time? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> I didn't know he could moonwalk. I win again. Easy when you know the dancers that score the most points. <laughs> How do you know that? Busted! That's why you're so good! You turn games into homework! Are you talking or playing, Dennis? Or have you just turned chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Walter. Let's make this really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. It's a deal, but if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. <laughs> Just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? <laughs> if I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. <laughs> Welcome to After School Club. First, form filling. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on away, hey! Hmm. A good citizen's 
home is a dust-free home. This is where they make the way here. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Denismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Mo! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs> What do we do now? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a manual for this game. See you later, fellas. <laughs> have fun. It's officially summer! I'm 
gone? Where are you off to? I'm going home. We're going on a pie holiday. But we can't just go home. We've got to make the most of this sweet moment. Let's go to the park for a game. Nice one, Curly. Come on, pie face. Savour the taste of freedom. OK, just for a bit. As long as I get to savour the taste of pie later. Hey, all right, let's go! School will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely you can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad. Mum. <laughs> Colonel, has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Well, OK, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pie Face and it went into the lake. I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. For some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike... A month! ..and I cycled through some wet cement. Six months! ..and some thorny bushes. Two years! But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years! Dennis! How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded! But what for? For ever! This is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded. I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. So much for being... Inside. Now. Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah. After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't, uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis! It's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room! You too, Nasha. <laughs> now you're here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. <laughs> Stray pups! I caught these. 
two trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Beano Town is looking out for me. That's it. It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... Hi! 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 Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. <laughs> I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! Quiet? Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. Mm. Oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. How lovely to see you here. Yes, I know. <laughs> Grounding Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it. But only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh. <laughs> Family fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. 
Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the life. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. Okay, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> yeah, doggy, doggy. <laughs> Ooh, a flat-billed Beano Town Blue. And a Pomeranian Puff Crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Buzz off! Time for action. Crumbs away! Sorry, Walter, <laughs> but you quack me up. <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, okay. Hmm, this gives me a brain stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. Uh, he's coming. Operation Destiny, Dennis, is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasha. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy, step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Whoa! What's that? I'm out to here! And I predict a nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> What? What is it? If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert! Walter! No! Don't move! I'm coming! I'm coming! It's okay! Catch this! Oops! Bad news! Hooligans! <laughs> <laughs> Typical Dennis! Still causing trouble! <laughs> oh. Ah! Just one hair on his head is hurt, 
You'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. <laughs> I've got you! Dennis, let go! Ah! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! If I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> No thanks to you, Dennis. My nerves are in shreds. Oh, maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky chop chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles. <laughs> no! And while one of them was messing about in a boot, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you, you, you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, oh, horrible little horrors. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Whoa! Ha ha! What have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well then, that's a that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. No! Oh! <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah. And that's for me lupins. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I uh, I uh I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. Can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. 
Let's test the rocket overdrive, Masha. I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, oh, I, I, oh. Oh. oh, no! But, Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize-giving soon. Prize-giving? Yes where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here, I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please. Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs. Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. Oh! Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get the skateboard? Good behaviour is the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> You never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Oh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, boys, I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. 
Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Walter. It's starting. I can't go in. It's too humiliating. Hang on. That's Dennis's dog. Excellent! If I'm not getting that prize, neither is Dennis! Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Arthur Guff, Beano Town's most distinguished manufacturer of plastic coated string. <coughs> if life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <coughs> Now, many people will tell you that String has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Eh? Why's the dog catcher here? Gotcha! <laughs> 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 What? No, miss! Please! Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true! Hand him over now, or there's no prize! <laughs> Run, Nasha! So, I always tie a piece of string to my big special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our and we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Thanks very much, dear. Bit chewy. What's 
this? Sold out? The Rat Bucket concert? It can't be sold out! Not anymore! <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't. Now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook Fuzzy Rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. Ah Out and don't come back. Okay, not a tunnel, but uh Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you've got two, who's the other one for? Miss Miniwoof, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. Anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <laughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people, and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> wow! So this is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! <laughs> Leave the food alone! to keep my strength up, Dan. You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Ooh, he looks like someone important. <coughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, 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 darling. It's not polite. <laughs> oh, my tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa, like the new hair. Quick, Nasha, take these! <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure, I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, thank you. Now 
I need to go to my dressing room to uh, dress. Wow! This is the real thing. Just, just a minute. <laughs> The crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. Pie face, we gotta get out of here. Hang on. <laughs> Daddy, hi. Huh? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money, aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Fina have some money? Please? <laughs> so, that's a no then, is it? But you always give me money. <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, huh. oh, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> real Rat Bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Right! Rat Bucket's gonna need some help on this first song! Elevator to the what? It's not gonna play! Not gonna play! What? Mr. Ratbucket, sir, uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you! I'm sorry, Mr. Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what, if you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. <laughs> oh, there you go, Mr Rat Bucket, sir. Ooh, he's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> Now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums, uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud. Sounds perfect. Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs> <laughs> 